Welcome to the State Library of North Carolina's instructional series we're calling Information University, or Inform You for short. The following video is the fourth part of a four-part video series on file naming. Here are some best practices for naming your files so that you'll be able to find and use them for the long term. As we mentioned in the introduction to this tutorial, it's important to try to make your file names unique. Someday your files may be moved to a folder shared by other people. If your file name isn't unique enough and someone else has named their file in the same way, files may get overwritten. You may also decide to upload your files to the Internet. Identically named files on the Internet can be harder for other people to find. Now we have some best practices for naming your files. I'll walk you through them using this photograph. First, give the file a brief but meaningful name. It is helpful if this name tells you what the file shows or contains and maybe even the context in which it was created. Second, consider including consistently formatted dates across all of your files. One common standard is a four-digit year followed by a two-digit month and a two-digit day. Finally, be consistent about your file naming practices over time. If you work with computer files at your job, consider proposing a standard file naming convention that everyone can use. Write down the naming guidelines and pass them around. We hope you have enjoyed this four-part tutorial on file naming.